In this video, we will talk about the resources allocation. And there are two ways in Promovera to present resources allocation or the usage. The first option is to go to source usage spreadsheet on top. And it will open here the list of resources. This is all the resources I have, the dictionary in my Promovera. So I want to make sure that I filter by current project resources. And when I select on any resource, I will have this window where all activities assigned by this resource will be shown here. So these all activities by, uh, by Carpenter, you can see activity ID start finish, but you can customize that. Let's show the activity name. So here I have all four work activities under Carpenters. On the far right section, I will see the spreadsheet. So it is the same as the histogram we saw, but instead of visual presentation, I have the figure itself. I have all numbers in tabular format. So this is a difference. Sometimes you need to see the numbers and have the table do the analysis based on numbers. The second option to see the resources allocation is to go to the resources assignments here. And you have also the same information. So I have a resource, but instead of showing the activities beside the resource, I have it underneath here below the resource. So this is a difference. And this is my preferred method actually, because I can do some analysis. I do copy and paste. You can copy this information into Excel. What you can do is just to click on any resource, right click, copy, then go to Excel and paste and it will paste all information here with the timeline with everything start and finish. So it will copy everything. If you want to copy everything, you just control A and copy. So whatever you want, you can copy everything, including activities, you can copy only this row, the summary row, or only summary. So if you want to copy summaries only, I click here on self fixer shift and the story bar so it will copy only three rows overall for the steel fixer and carpenters and the story bar so without activities i can also group customize by so i have here like additional code so i will just delete it resource id name for example i can also show with wbs if you want so it will look something like that so here superstructure so it's up to you how you group them and filter them you, you have also filters so you wanna maybe filter by costs by by activity code by uh, budgeted units you can just do whatever you want in filters so all these available you can also change time scale from here if you want same applies so you can here it's showing you the budgeted units. So in case of labors, it's hours. In case of material, I have ton for a steel rebar. I can also customize it from here. Spreadsheet fields, customize. Maybe I want to show the budget units and also the cumulative in tabular format. So I click on cumulative, cumulative budgeted units. And okay, so it will show you both values. So here, this is a cumulative for each month. Spreadsheet options. Let's remove the cumulative. So here, every time you read the data, so it is just not helpful to read by number of hours. So for steel fixers, I have 1800 labor hours. But what does it mean? I want to know the labors, how many labors I want to use this month. This is what everyone needs to know, not number of hours. It's just, it's hard for you to determine the requirements. Like you cannot hire, ask your management that I need 1800 labor hours. You ask them that in October, I want this number of resources. So this is 1800 labor hours for one month. So if you divide it by 26 working day, you will have the required number of hours per day. And say, for example, you have 100 labor hours per day, for example, and you have 10 hours working a day. 
So this means you will have 10 labors also. So again, I am having 10 labors working for 10 hours per day. So it means I have requirement of 100 labor hours. So you can calculate your way back to determine the number of resources. So first you have to divide by 26 working days to determine the required number of hours per day and also divide by 10 hours per day to calculate the number of resources. So you can do it manually, but also there is one option in Promovera is you can right click spreadsheet options. I want to calculate average. So divide interval totals by 260. So I divide by 26 working days and also 10 working hour per day apply so this is the number of labors i need over the month so i need seven labors working for one month for me in october and two in november of course numbers can be changed but I ju i'm just explaining the concept here so if you wanna calculate it forward say for example i wanted seven labors from you now you want to calculate the required number of hours per month so how much hours you, you, you will consume in this month. So you simply say that I need seven labors per day working for one month. Seven labors per day times seven times 10, which is 10 hours per day. So I have overall 70 hours per day, 70 labor hours per day. And you multiply by 26 working days, you will come up with the 1800, which we initially had. Okay, so if you remove this option, I want to only show the number of labor hours in this month. So this is the 1800. It's very powerful. So you will probably use calculate average. So you can have the number we all want to see, like how many labors I want to hire and working every day over one month period. So this is for the resources assignments and resources allocation. And in the next lecture, we will talk about resource leveling.